Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's like muscle car special, right? You're talking about Chevelle SS396 four speed cars. They are, uh, that's probably why you're watching this video. You're going, you know what? I love those cars. I want to see if this one's any nicer than some of the others. And I'm going to say this, this is really very nice, but it, what it is is different than many of the others. And this is a car built for Canada, built here in the US and then shipped to Canada, North American car, right? Like many Chevelles. The good news about this is because of the American built cars, there's no way to identify if the car was originally an SS396 or 454. That's always the question, right? The VIN number can only tell us that it was a V8 car and that's it. The Canadian cars though, were required to have build sheets uh, and uh, invoices that they kept records of. We have that information here. Why is that a big deal? Because now you know, right? No one, no one really does know, right? Unless you have a build sheet out of a car or partial build sheet or something, maybe, and that's just a small percentage. We've had a lot of Chevelles and very rarely do we get paperwork. We have paperwork on this car. This car really is kind of very authentic the way it rolled off the showroom floor. However, I want to talk about a couple things you could do to upgrade or make a couple changes if you wanted. Secondly, I want to point out some things that are not working right and are not correct on this car because I want to show you our process. All right, so why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, so you sharp people watching this video, you're going, hey, Tone, Tone, do you realize that the marker light's out, huh? Is that the kind of car you're selling? A car that's been totaled and everyone died in the car crash because the marker light is out? Maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but actually it's not an exaggeration in the sense of getting a car that's the right car. So here's the difference between a consignment shop, people that just consign cars, these dealerships that just consign them, they take them in, right? They put some spray wax on them, and then they sell them to you. And for a commission, that's what they do. So you never meet the buyer. You don't know the history. You don't know anything about it. No efforts put into uh, making them uh, safe and things working the way it's supposed to be. Our system here is a little different. We have this yellow sticker here, which is kind of cool. What this means is the car comes in, they put a red sticker on the windshield saying, you know what, the team here knows, the intake team here knows that the cars come in. And then boom, once a car goes through our shop and we do our 120 point inspection, that allows us uh, to also put an extended warranty on the car if we wanted to do that, which is really pretty cool to be able to put up to a three year warranty on a you know, 50, 60, 70 year old car. What we have in our checkout is that this marker light doesn't work. And I could have fixed that before I did the video, but actually I didn't do it on purpose because I wanted to show you. Also, a couple small things under the hood, correct items that make for this car are better to show. For instance, this has red plug wires in there. I ordered the black ones, but I wanted to do the video because the car just arrived. I wanted you to see that, right? So we have black plug wires that arrived. Uh, I believe they arrived today. However, they won't get installed today, but at least it's kind of cool. I'm showing you the, the before and after stuff, okay? Uh, lastly, if you want, um, you can add hood pins to this car. I love hood pins. I'm a hood pin freak. I think on my coffin, I even said I'm probably going to get hood pins. But if you wanted to, we could add uh, uh, the here. The paint on this car is fabulous. It is spectacular. We're going to check quality of paint, but one important thing I wanted you to see is that when you touch these stripes here, you can't feel them. Why is that important? Well, because as you wash and wax this car over time, uh, these stripes would start to tear and they would start to edge and then you'd have to repaint all this stuff. By clearing all of this and doing all the extra steps, which costs a lot more money, it's the right way to do it. All right, so let's come on up here and let's check the condition of this paint. How clear are the letters, right? Not that you can see the letters, but how clear are the letters? The crystal clear, the more crystal clear they are, uh, the better the paint quality. The more fuzzy they are, the more orange peely. You've probably heard that word before, an orange peel, it doesn't reflect really well. That's pretty, very, very nice. All right, so many times I get these things, people say, Tone, that's a great looking car. But a lot of times we don't know why it's a great looking car. For instance, having the correct wheels and tires on here. You say, well, Tone, it's supposed to have those. No. A set of radial tires is half the price of the tires that are on here right here. That wheel and tire right there costs over $2,000. $2,000, you can get a custom set of wheels and tires for less, but these are the period correct polyglass and the correct SS wheels. Then we go here under the hood because maybe you wanna to go to a car show 
and you'll say, well, if I do, I do. If I don't, then I don't. And I agree. If you want to, great. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. But what I want you to be able to do is to show this off to your friends, right? Here's what I mean by that. This is correct under here because it's painted satin black the way it's supposed to. Satin black on the inside in here, right? And then we have the block painted orange. The intake manifold is not painted orange because it's the winter's intake manifold because it's a 350 horsepower engine, not a 325 horsepower engine. Then we have this beautiful, beautiful piece right here modern heat and air conditioning. As we get a little older, you got to have a little AC, man. Imagine going out to dinner with another couple or the kids or whatever, and go ahead and you're able to flip on the AC and enjoy uh, that there. Little stuff like the battery topper. Um, the hinges are a different color. They're not black, right? A lot of people paint this black, this black, and this black. But the more colors you have, like the, the master cylinder and those things right there, gives you a better show quality uh, underhood experience. And lastly, we have a couple decals that are still coming for here. Uh, and again, I spoke about the plug wires earlier in there. We have the black plug wires coming for this. Um, this is an MSD ignition system in here. And why this car is so fast and runs so well is this car makes way more power than the factory did originally, but also uh, it makes it with some modern upgrades. We'll hide those modern upgrades just so you can still get that great experience. All right, so back to my statement before about correctness, detail stuff, things like that. Let's say you love this car, it's everything you want it to be, but you don't want the vinyl top. Well, the vinyl top can actually be taken off, right? And repainted uh, the same color as this here if you wanted to make that change. Some people love it because it gives the look of a convertible and that's why they did that. I think it looks great, but that's your call. It's your car, you get to do what you want with it. Here, uh, the stripes are done properly. They're not gone all the way underneath the trunk lid. That would be incorrect. We have the SS pad back here. Um, of course, we have the correct SS tips. And if you look underneath, you'll see the F41 suspension rear sway bar. You'll see the 12-bolt rear differential. Those are the undercarriage pictures that we like to put online. Here we go. Some more detail stuff. Right here, this package tray, typically when people put car stereos in these older cars, they mount the speakers right on top of that right there. Well, we didn't want it that way because that's not the correct way. And this is a lot more expensive to do it that way, but this gives you a better look. For instance, if you look, you'll see the holes are pre-drilled in that package tray there. And instead of mounting the speakers from the top down, they're mounted from underneath right here. And you can see them wired up inside there. They're hidden, they're out of the way because it's a much cleaner look. Again, a lot more steps to do it, but you're getting a better car detailed trunk with a correct mat. It's got a spare tire. It's got a jack. It's got jacking instructions. It's painted in here. New weather stripping. Uh, the stripes are on the right spot where they're supposed to be. And exactly how you would want this is if you wanted to go to a car show, you could open the hood in the trunk or you could just throw some lawn chairs and a cooler, go for a drive and have a great day in the park. All right, so you're walking up to your cool car. You know what? A Chevelle just looks like a muscle car. That's what it does. It's just a great looking car. It makes you smile. You're walking up to your cool car and you realize, man, this is nice. This is my car. I'm getting in it. And right, and that's what you're doing. You're getting in it and you hear that, uh, you hear that noise? That noise is actually, while it's annoying, it's actually correct and you want that noise because what that says is that I left the keys in the ignition and that's still working. That's a detail thing that a lot of people don't finish, right? Because it costs money to get that done. Uh, this has the original AM radio in here with the uh, upgraded optional dash, including the factory tack, uh, clock, all the gauges, not just idiot lights, right? But also has, this is kind of nice to keep the dash looking stock. They built a beautiful sound system right here in the glove box. All that's kind of hidden around here. You got speakers here, you got speakers in the back. And a pearl white interior is just a great looking interior, it just is. But what I wanna point out too is that here, you just have some room, right? Another couple can go out to dinner with you. The kids can go out to dinner with you. You could go away for the weekend if you wanted to in this car. It, it, people did that back in the day in this car, right? There's no reason why you can't do that anymore. Imagine how much better dinner would be or, or an event uh, if you went there in the Chevelle with the AC on and, uh, and going out with some people. It would be a lot, a lot of fun. All right, so let's close up the video. We'll run down a few of the highlights on it, which make this car great. First off, original factory color-coded car. We're looking at the way it rolled off the showroom floor in the correct colors, right? With the correct interior in the car. We have the original AM radio in the dash, but a hidden sound system kind of making the dash look all stock. This has a factory tack and gauges. Don't minimize that, because that could be a couple thousand dollars upgrade for another Chevelle you might look at. We have... Uh, 
not only a matching numbers car, but a documented car as well. But we have an engine that makes good power and sounds really good. This car is fast. You'll, you'll understand why they're called muscle cars when you get this car and you get on the gas for the first time. You'll be like, whoa, that just happened, right? We looked at a trunk that was all detailed, the undercarriage is detailed. It has things on it you didn't even ask about, like power steering and power disc brakes. Not every muscle car in the world comes with those things. And you get it and you're trying to drive this big brick with a thousand horsepower and drum brakes, uh, not fun. Anyway, uh, I think that we saw uh, a car that's show worthy, that you can enjoy a lot of and have an awesome, awesome time with. Anyway, call us about this awesome Chevelle Super Sport, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it. If you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. Helps get our message out, I appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel, we have new stuff coming out all the time. Maybe share it with your friends. They might like some of these cars that we get either every day as well. And I'll see you on the next one.